like into your head. <laughs> Hi, this is Tammy, and this is speech number two, speech to inform. Um, I'm with my audience, and I will begin. Daily, we find ourselves interacting with others. More often than not, our interactions can enhance our days or destroy them. Do you find value in someone greeting you with a smile, smirk, or even a frown? When someone greets you negatively, does this affect your frame of mind? Do you leave the situation happily satisfied or unhappily dissatisfied? Do you find that when you smile at someone, that they smile back? The power of a smile has many benefits that I didn't realize prior to researching this speech. However, I will say that one of the fondest memories I do have when I was growing up is when my father smiled because he lit up the room and you just knew he was pure of heart. Countless research has been dedicated to the impact of smiling and how that can make us feel as well as impact someone else. I decided to test the theory that smiling is contagious and can change a person, person's day. So I spent two days smiling. I smiled at people while driving, shopping, to strangers on the street, and even where I work. I even smiled to myself in the mirror and at night while watching television. Truth be told, in my experimental experience, smiling was contagious. And when I would smile at myself, my, my mood was in fact lifted. So right now I will preview what topics I will cover. What is smiling, the benefits of a smile, and fun facts about smiling. So let's dive into, or shall I say, smile as we look into this thing called smiling. Guillaume Duchamp was a 19th, 20th, 20th, or 19th century French physician and one of the founders of modern neurology. He was interested in smiling and of smiles. Not all smiles, he said, carried the same characteristics. Duchamp documented and explored dozens of smiles. Char characteristically, the most universal smile coined after him is the Duchamp smile. The Duchamp smile utilizes the most expressive positive form of happiness. The Duchamp smile is an authentic expression of joy that encompasses most of the muscles in your mouth, nose, and eyes. We have looked at what the Duchamp smile looks like visually, so let's move to the second point, the important health benefits to smiling. Smiling makes you feel better and improves your mood. Smiling re releases endorphins and serotonin. Endorphins are hormones that are found in the brain to reduce pain, and serotonin helps the brain to function smoother. These two together with smiling makes us feel better. So smiling is a natural and organic drug. Smiling has proven to boost your immune system. It helps the immune system function more smoothly. Researchers state because smiling makes you more relaxed, thus reducing your stress. Smiling lifts the face and makes you look younger. The smiles we use in our faces to smile actually lifts the face. So there's no need for Botox or facelift, just smile. The last segment is to bring attention to some ab abstract thoughts about smiling. <clears throat> smiling is universal. It is a universal sign of happiness. While handshakes, hugs, bow bowing, and kisses have varying, varying, varying meanings across cultures, smiling is rec recognized in all cult cultures as a sign of happiness and acceptance. Even babies are capable of smi smiling. Smiling makes us more attractive. We want to know a smiling person. Frowns, scowls, and grimaces push people away, but a smile draws you in. As we begin to wrap up our time together discussing how a smile can change a day or benefit your well-being, I would like to go back and highlight the key points to remember. Dr. Duchamp's analogy of an authentic expression of joy is a smile. Some of the benefits of smiling by re releasing endorphins and serotonin in your brain and the introduction of some fun facts about smiling. So lastly, in the words of Mother Teresa, peace begins with a smile. Also, smiling not only affects your outlook, but the outlooks of others. So again, thanks to Mother Teresa, she leaves us with these words. Every time you smile at someone, it is an action of love, a gift to that person. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Does it make you want to smile? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, I smiled at work. That'll make ladies be really happy. But <laughs> then I made it. <laughs> See, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much. That's over. What do you have to do? Do you just turn that in? And I have to. Up, yeah, I have to turn it into the whatever the the and then the handout. Check that out. Yeah, the handout that I had to email the instructor. It's a picture of smiles oh. and then a quote from Will Ferrell and Elf. Oh. And uh, and then this and then three students have to critique it. Oh, geez, these are great. There's a lot of sex. There is a lot of sex. There's a lot of sex. Easier than some of the other ones. The most stressful part is filming it and finding an audience. Um, so do you have any more to do? I have one more. Okay. Like in end of April. And that one will probably be more in depth than smiling and bald eagles. I don't think I smiled one time in that presentation. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Are you awake? Not Are you sick? I just need to a minute. Do you want me to get you some water? No, okay. Okay. Thank you, Julie.